Here's how you do the red cabbage juice test for chemistry. First you take a bit of the unknown and scoop it onto the circle. Next you you have to take your cabbage juice and squirt about five drops into the unknown. Then write your observations down. It's not that it's not changing. And and the unknown kind of dissolved into the cabbage juice. Then you have to do the same thing for the yellow unknown. The unknown dissolved. It doesn't mix with the unknown. Cabbage juice is, is kind of turning bluish. And it's kind of sticky. It doesn't really mix with the unknown. This is how you do the red cabbage juice test for chemistry. First you take a bit of the unknown and scoop it onto the circle. Next you, ha you have to take your cabbage juice and squirt about five drops into the unknown. Then write your observations down. It's not that, it's not changing. And, and the unknown kind of dissolved into the cabbage juice. Then you have to do the same thing for the yellow unknown. The unknown dissolved. It doesn't mix with the unknown. The 
cabbage juice it is kind of turning bluish. And it's kind of sticky. It doesn't really mix with the unknown. This is how you do the red cabbage juice test for chemistry. First you take a bit of the unknown and scoop it onto the circle. Next you you have to take your cabbage juice and score about five drops into the unknown. Then write your observations down. It's not that it's not changing. And and the unknown kind of dissolved into the cabbage juice. Then you have to do the same thing for the yellow unknown. The unknown dissolved. It doesn't mix with the unknown. Cabbage juice is kind of turning bluish. And it's kind of sticky. It doesn't really mix with the unknown.